Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and welcome to Pocket. And today, I'm Batman. Except without the toys and the money and the body. But I do have parents, so suck it, Batman. Batman Arkham Knight comes out on Wednesday, and if you want my full impressions on the game, check out Good Game on ABC2 tomorrow night. Now, we were going to play the first hour of the game, but the first hour of the game is actually filled with spoilers, so I don't want to show you any of that. You should just go play it yourself. Instead, we're going to play some of the challenge modes that are always in these Arkham games and get a better look at the Batmobile mechanics that you will be playing. So let's dive right in. So this is one of the first uh, Riddler challenges that you deal with in the game. So here uh, we need to complete a single lap of Riddler's fiendish course on its hardest configuration as quickly as possible. Drift the Batmobile around corners to earn a time bonus. Uh, alrighty, let's try that. Because you know what I'm great at? Driving cars. Simulation activated. The Riddler challenges in this game are, are really cool. Like in the previous games, they were fun and you were collecting a bunch of trophies and that sort of thing. Uh, in here, he has kidnapped Catwoman uh, and you need to complete a bunch of stuff to save her because that whole sort of like, you know, weird, sexy relationship that Bat Batman and Catwoman have where you're not sure, are they doing it or do they hate each other? You'll never know. But uh, for some reason, he definitely doesn't want her to die. And so uh, you need to complete all these sort of challenges that the Riddler sets you. And, uh, and, and they definitely involve the Batmobile, uh, which is, you know, one of the biggest new characters in the game. And I can call it a character because uh, you use it so, so much. So here, he gives you a remote control so that you can open and close doors as you're going through the race. It's kind of like a track mania situation where you're sort of like going up on walls and, and uh, trying to, you know, achieve a certain amount of stars. Uh, finishing the course as quickly as possible, but you're also manipulating the course as you go. It's actually uh, kind of tricky. The Batmobile doesn't handle badly as such, it's more that it kind of never feels like you're really in control of the car, that the car is driving you and you just need to sort of hold on for the ride. Uh, this is good in some respects, like when you're screaming around Gotham, there's really nothing that stands in your way other than actual full-on buildings. Uh, and obviously that door that now has me trapped in water. Uh, it's really only like giant buildings that stop you. Everything else gets destroyed as you hit it. Trees and, and supporting structures everywhere. Batman is the worst thing that happened to this city. There is so much destruction as you drive around in this car. So for it to be a challenge where, which involves, you know, skilled driving in this thing is a little, uh, is a little frustrating because uh, it's not really a skill, it's more just kind of luck. But a loser would say that, wouldn't they? Ah! Crushed it. Uh, so that was 54 seconds. Now, uh, earlier on today, uh, Edit Monkey and I were sort of uh, battling it out uh, for the best time. Uh, he's currently winning with 42. He beat my last one of 44. So now, unfortunately, I'm kind of at this situation where we've been playing all morning and I kind of achieved the highest speed that I could get and now he beat it. And so now for the episode we're recording, I have to beat my best possible time. So I'm just gonna shut up and not talk to you and just concentrate on, on beating him because he's, he's so smug. I can't stand his smug little face. Simulation activated. He's watching me right now. I can feel him watching me and judging every little move. Nice. Landing Batman. Yeah. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I'm gonna win! Suck it, John! Uh, I'm really actually a very good loser. He just frustrates me so much with his tiny smug face. Uh, do you wanna go? You have to beat it now. I can see it in your eyes. You can't handle the fact that I won on the internet. <laughs> now, I'm sorry about all the sweat on the controller. It's all right. I hope it'll help. It's fine. <clears throat> I'm more nervous about this than I was when I was racing. Simulation activated. I can feel you watching. No, 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 no,
you're dead. <laughs> oh, how does it feel? Because you're like you're like a professional car driver when it comes to like video games. You did you did that for years and years. And I just I'm just some chump who mainly does like platformers. What's up with that? Okay, and to finish it off, uh, I've destroyed enough things accidentally. Let's destroy some things on purpose in the car. Uh, so this one-man army challenge, the car basically has two states that you can put it in. You've got the sort of driving normal Batmobile, and then you've got this armored tank sort of strafing death machine. Technically, though, not a death machine, an unconscious machine. Batman doesn't kill, somehow. Uh, and so, when you're playing the game, you're in normal car mode, and then uh, you hit a button, and you turn into strafing little spider tank thing, which is actually my total preferred way of controlling the car. It just feels really, really, really good. A lot of the game actually features uh, almost platforming elements with the car here. Like, you need to get it sort of up a building and around an area uh, while you're in this mode because it's got really refined sort of um, much more specific controls. Uh, pro tip, the default button to activate this tank mode is uh, L2, the left trigger on, uh, on a controller. And uh, in every single other driving game on the planet, that button is used to reverse your car. So in the game, whenever I wanted to reverse at the beginning, I would hit that button and then suddenly I would be turned into a tank that was just sort of starting to shoot things. So uh, I remapped it to be R1 and uh, that stopped all of those headaches. And now the Batmobile can reverse normally. So between the sort of Batmobile racing challenges and this sort of tank combat stuff and the sort of traditional Batman hand-to-hand -hand combat ones that have been in the other games, there's a heap of these challenge modes to refine your skills for the main game uh, and after the main game. And they are really fun. Compete with your friends. Beat me and John. And that's it for today's episode of Pocket because I can feel John literally standing behind me wanting to beat my time. Though I don't think he can. Nick Boyal.